Yeah, man, I say all praises and honor unto your how, Bashem, your Shai, Bashem, the Kakodash, and double honors to the apostles, you know, and the elders of Graveman Stone. Shalom to all our brothers and out there pushing this truth, you know, sincerity and in all honesty. Um, this is a brother from James, um, Jamaica Camp, um, Yashamai. I know more and do um, I listen, you know, and I have this video, you know, with um, this Jake, you know, I explain about um, a situation, you know, or experience him have, you know, with um, a father and, and, and um, basically him daughter, right? And you have uh, Jake, you know, Jake's there already, right? Uh, make fun of the whole situation, right? Because, you know, in this time living in this modern time, you know, Jake looked down upon certain customs or certain belief or certain countries or practice because they still have a lot of these Eden nation I follow some um, certain um, Asian customs right and you know this Western world go already right so Jake now you know make fun of the whole situation right but scripture say we're supposed to um, ask for the whole part you know where is the good way and what the arena we shall find what rest for our soul because this modern way of life you know destroy our people completely they bring nothing but you know stress and destruction unto us here see in this time we're living in right and you know a whole thing already right according to the scripture um two third of our people just get put to death you know on this side and through the hillock they make a born back into the kingdom that's how the how about shai you know go fix this whole thing what take place now you know amongst our nation Right, so I do know I play on this video and after all, you know, I'm just getting at some scriptures, um, basically. And I was like, whoa. So I went, so I was like, all right, cool. Went in my pants pocket and I took out a hundred US and I give it to her. Not enough. And I said, thank Not you. Not enough. <laughs> and I said, thank you. And she, and she was like, no, 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 no. And I was like, no, man, have it. So I hold her and I put it in it. I said, no, man, have it. It's all right. It's cool. And she said, no, no, no. You sure? I said, yeah, sure. Took the money and she left. The next day... A fire bills me now. <laughs> <laughs> the next day... Oh, money. She came back and knocked on the door. So I opened the door and I was like, what's up? I said, you know, we didn't request housekeeping. I tried to make sure that the room was fine. She said, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Um... Uh, you have a second? I said, ah, uh, sure, what's up? She said, um, can you, can you come out the room? I said, I said, no, 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 why, come in, come in. She said, ah, no, I, 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 with people. I said, so look out and I see a bunch of people. So I said, no, man, sorry, they can come in the room. So she brought them in the room. And then when she brought them in the room, she introduced me to the guy who was her father. And her father said to me that, um, this is my daughter, and if you trusted, you can marry her. Yeah, the It was the father, the mother, and two kids plus herself. So apparently, <laughs> so apparently, I was like, marry? Um, no. Thanks, but Daddy, I meet no. good man. <laughs> good man have enough no. money. I, I said, want to I marry said, him. I said, thanks, but no. Nah. <laughs> no, 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 you know, it look, it look weird to them because, you know, this Western world or this Western mindset, you know, things don't work that way in this society. Right? But this is how the scripture says. Right? This is Jeremiah 6, you know, and verse um, 16. And it says, Thus saith the Lord, stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old parts. Where is the good way? So the ancient way. Right, is the good way, the way of the scriptures, the way of the how about is the good way. And right now we can clearly say that this modern way of life is not working. Right? And walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said, We will not 
what they're in. So majority of people in this Nago come back to the studio or come back to your house or shoot me out shy. They must continue to do what they want to do until the time of destruction, which we live in another time. Right? These are all things done in the ancient time. Not like now. Alright, this is um Ecclesiastes 42 and verse 9 say The Father waked for the daughter when no man knew it, and the care for her take it away sleep. When she is young, least she pass away the flower of her age and being married, least she should be hated in her virginity, least she should be defiled and gotten with child in her father's house. Because you know what, in a shame. If your daughter um, get pregnant in your father's house, right, and don't know what the father, because according to the scripture, according to the law, you know, father supposed to marry her, you know, your daughter, right? When she come of age, she's supposed to basically um, get married, right? Not like, you know, how things are going on in this time to live in, right? You know, daughter can do what she feel for do, you know, her mother can, you know, do what she feel for do. But then things was more in order amongst our people. Right? Verse 10 again says, In her virginity, least she should be defiled and gotten with child in her, in her father's house, and having an husband, least she should be misbehave herself. And when she is married, least she should be barren. Keep a sure watch over a shameless daughter. Right? So this account of the scripture. Your father supposed to watch over him daughter. Right? Watch him daughter. Like no in this time that you know these things get demonized. You know, my father watch him daughter in this time. You know, a man try to shame you because you watch your daughter. But in the ancient time things was like no. Right? So you say, keep a sure watch over a shameless daughter. Least she make thee a laughing stock to thine enemies. That what happened right now. Amongst our people. Become a laughing stock unto this hidden nation. They might laugh of a house right now. Right? In a lamentation, they say, um, them walk them head, you know, and hiss and say, is this the city of perfection? Right? So these nations are looked down upon us right now because, you know, the things our people are doing, especially a woman are doing, you know, on social media. Right? And a byword in the city and a reproach among the people and made the ashamed before the multitude. Right? So these are how things usually done back then. The father the one, you know, responds. You know, basically uh, married off, you know, daughter to a man. Right? Because, you know, it's a very valuable asset to the father. Right? Because, you know, your daughter will take care of the whole soul. If you have, you know, animals, sheep, you know, and so forth. You know, they have to feed him, take care of the, you know, take care of all these things. So, father the one, you know, married off daughter to a, to a man. Right, and this is what the scripture says. Ecclesiastes 7 and verse 24 says, As thou daughters have a care for their body, and show not thyself cheerfully towards them. Marry thy daughter, and so shall thou have performed a weighty matter, but give her to a man of understanding. So this is how the father is supposed to do this. How all things usually done in the ancient time. I'm going back to you know how things usually done, right? Because now in this time to living in, you now the society bring nothing but you know death, you know, and destruction unto us. So we're going back to the ancient way, right? This modern way of life, you know, we can see that it's not working for us, here, especially the woman name, because now you know a lot of relationship broken up. Breaking up um, amongst our people. Out here in Jamaica, you have um, the fraternity fraud. I think you reach 70%. You know, one of the highest, you know, in the Caribbean amongst our people. Right? So, this Western world uh, mindset our people have of being nothing but, you know, destruction and stress, you know, unto our people. Right? But a lot of our people them look down upon how things usually done in the ancient time, but we never have. We live like problem we have right now, right? In the whole soul, but as I mentioned, it all go back to the curse, you know, of the Heavenly Father. Right? A matter of fact, you know, we can bring out that curse. Uh, this is Deuteronomy. This is Deuteronomy 28 and verse 54. And it reads, 
so that a man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes, meaning his mind, shall be evil towards his brother, towards an Israelite brother, right, amongst the so-called Negroes, Latinos, you know, and Native American, Indian, who shall you know, be called the Israelite today, and towards the wife, which is basically a woman, of his bosom, and towards the remnant of his children, which he shall lead. That's the reason why you have a broken home. But they all go back to the curse, you know, as, as I mentioned. I didn't even the father. But things wasn't like now. Right? But then the father the one in, in charge of the whole soul. Right? And the how about Shimmer Shai gonna set back the order, you know, very, very soon. Right? Because we actually, you know, in that time when everything gonna get put back in the right order. Right? This is um Isaiah. 4 and verse 4 says, When the Lord shall have washed away the filth from the daughters of Zion, and shall have purged the blood of Jerusalem from the midst thereof, because we actually in a time, you know, a judgment when the of Shemir are gonna quote him judgment upon his society, right? Set by the order because according to the scripture, you know, two third of people are gonna get destroyed on this side, right? And through the elect, they're gonna burn back. So how about Shemir Shai going to purge the nation, you know, nation of Israel, right? So Shemir say, when the Lord shall have washed away the filth of the daughters of Zion, and shall have purged the blood of Jerusalem from the midst thereof by the spirit of judgment and by the spirit of burning, right? So how about Shemir Shai going to set back the order, you know, very, very soon? Isaiah 1 and verse 24, and it say. Therefore, thus saith the Lord of hosts, the mighty one of Israel, how I will ease me of mine adversaries and avenge me of mine enemy. I will turn mine hand upon thee and purely purge away the dross and take away all thy tin. And I will restore thy judges as at the first. So the Heavenly Father, you know, through him son, I got restore him two judges. Not like these sellout leaders, you know, we have right now. Because, you know, majority of these leaders, you know, in this time that we live in them sell out, you know. Right? It's all about money. You know, or the benefit will come, you know, with um, the deal, what they make with the devil, you know. You know, he saw he done, the so-called white man. Right? So, you have about him, I back him two judges, which are the hillock. Starting, you know, with the 144,000, you're going to be a be the government body. Right? And I will restore my thy judges, and I will restore thy judges as at the first, and thy counselors as at the beginning, and, and afterward thou shalt be called the city of righteousness, the faithful city. So you how about Shemir Shai gonna sit by the order amongst all people. Yo. So so that may say I'll praise his anana and how Bashim Yahu Shai Bashim Kodash and Dublin as the apostles, you know, and the elders of Graham Stone. Shalom to all our brothers and out there pushing the truth in all sincerity. You know, in all honesty, shalom.